Okay, now for your favorite in mine, multi-step problems. You love multi-step problems. No, you don't, but it's fine. Okay, so find the value of x and then give your answer in simplest radical form. So we gotta figure out what is x. But this time I can't just go, oh, well there's my right angle, so nine squared plus 25 squared equals x because this 25 is going with that whole triangle. And we don't necessarily know how much is this little part over here and how much is this little part over here. But I can figure out, let's just call this little part right here from here to here. I can figure out why, okay, because I know that this is across from the right angle, that's the C, okay. And then this can be like my A and B. So A squared plus B squared equals c squared. Okay, so 9 squared plus uh, whatever b squared is, y squared equals, and then the 15 squared. Okay, so 81 plus y squared equals 225. Subtract the 81 on both sides. y squared equals What's 225 minus 81? 144. Okay, so then to get rid of this square, we take the square root on both sides. Y equals 12. So what I figure out here is I figure out that this little part right here is 12. So what does that leave for this part over here? So that way I can ultimately figure out that x, okay? Well, 25 minus 12 leaves you with 13, okay? So this over here is 13. So now, now I can figure out what x is because now I know that this is a right angle, so x is the c side, this 13, that's, that can be the b side, I don't care, and then the nine can be the a side, and we're just looking at this triangle over here, so now I can figure out what the x is, okay? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The a we said was nine, 9 squared plus the B, that's the 13 side that we figured out from before. Okay, 13 squared, and now I can figure out what the X is. X squared. Okay, so 9 squared is 81. 13 squared, I have no idea. 169 equals X squared. 81 plus 169 is 250. So 250 equals x squared. Don't want the square, I want to get rid of the square. So I take the square root. Now if you take the square root of 250, you're going to get a decimal. We don't want to do decimal, we want to do simplest radical form. So this is where we do the tree. Find two numbers that multiply to 250. Okay, how about 25 and 100? No, 25 and 10, sorry, 25 and 10. Okay, well I know that 25, that's like five times five. Circle my fives, because they're primes. And then 10 is like two times five, and I'll circle those, because they're also primes. Okay, so what do I have a match of? I have a match of 5, so a 5 gets to come out front. But this 2 and this 5, they don't have matches, so they have to stay inside. Okay, so to clean that up, 5 square root of 2 times 5 is 10. So what is this x side right here? It's 5 square root of 10 units long. Then the other kind of multi-step problem we're going to see is find the perimeter 
and the area. Okay, so if I'm going to find the perimeter, I'm going to have to figure out how long this side is. Okay, now I know that this side's 8 and this side's 8 and this up the middle is 6. Okay, so let's just find out how long this part is right here. Okay, across from the right angle, that's your C, and the other sides are your A and B, so I'm just looking at this triangle over here on the left. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so A squared, the 6 squared plus, we don't know what the B is yet, we got to figure that out, equals C squared, so 8 squared. Okay, 36 plus B squared equals 64. Subtract the 36 from both sides. And we get b squared equals, what's 64 minus 36? 28. Okay, now we have to do simplest radical form. So we're going to take the square root of both sides, but 28 doesn't have a good square root. So we're going to have to, <coughs> we're going to have to do the tree. Okay, so 28, that's like 4 times 7, 7 is a prime, and 4 is 2 times 2, okay, so you have a match of 2's, and then the 7 is left over, so 2 square root of 7, so now I know that this little part right here is 2 square root of 7, so let me erase the parts I don't need now. Two square root of seven. Okay, so that was one that had a hypotenuse of eight and a side of six that gave you the other side was two square root of seven. Now this triangle over here on the right side looks exactly the same. Hypotenuse of eight, a side of six. So this side down here would be exactly the same process. You'd end up finding that was two square root of seven. Okay, so I have two square roots of sevens and two more square roots of sevens. So how long is that total side? It's four square roots of sevens. Okay, so that whole side down there is 4 square root of 7. Four square root of 7. Okay, so my perimeter, perimeter is where we add up all the sides. Okay, so that's 8 plus 8 plus 4 square root of 7. Okay, the 8's we can add together to get 16 the 4 square root of 7, that square root of 7 means that we can't add it to the 16, so it's just going to have to hang out by itself. So it's 16, 4 square root of 7. For area, remember that the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. Okay, my base, that's the 4 square root of 7 times the height, that looks to be 6. 6, okay, divided by 2, 4 times 6 is 24, square root of 7, divided by 2, 24 divided by 2 is 12, so I have 12 square root of 7 is the area.